what seeing Fres Zahabi in his corner really mentally kind of like blocked. It's like seeing my brother at another guy's corner. It was really strange to me. I wasn't just mentally, I wasn't on, you know what I mean? My next guest is heading to Sydney, Australia to take on hometown favorite Jamie Malarkey at UFC 293 on September 9th. It's the bull, John McDessie, back here on the program. John, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, you know, it's been a bit since we've seen you in the cage. Uh, big fight here, like I said, heading down to Australia. Why haven't we seen you in the cage for so long? Just uh, another couple of surgeries. I had uh, my last fight, I uh, fractured both of my fingers. I um, twenty punches. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so w was this the right amount of time off then, or were you hoping to fight a bit sooner than this? Uh, actually, no, it, it all worked out fine. Okay, good. Well, that, that's great. Um, and then I understand uh, you're, you're now training at Fight Ready. Tell me how that all came together. Yeah, um, it's, it's funny. Uh, I, I, I really like Arizona, and uh, Fight Ready, just, it just fit well. It's, um, I tried going there earlier. I just never had, um, for some reason, never, I never went through. So, uh, so it just everything played out perfectly. The coaching, the the structure, it's very. I, I really it fit it fit very well to my style, and it kind of uh, blended very perfectly and helped me get ready. Not only get ready, but just to improve and to to uh, to progress. Okay, that's great. And did you know anyone in particular over there? Or did you like reach out to someone? How did it come together with you going to train there? I don't know anyone there. I, I, I tried numerous times in the past before I, I tried the uh, different gyms here in Arizona. Um, I just physically went there, showed up, and I told them if I can train, and they're, they're very welcoming. Oh, great. Okay, that's cool. And how long has it been now? You've been in Arizona for a couple of years now, if I'm not mistaken, right? I go back and forth. Um, I actually, personally, I, I filed for my, uh, I'm trying to live here full time. Nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just, it's been, you know, for me, it was always, I never felt like I kind of fit in. You know, I, I went to a lot of gyms. I've been around the game for, I've been around the block for a long time, you know, but it's it's a very tough sport. You know what I mean? It, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of things have to align. Yeah. No, I, absolutely. Um, and when you say back and forth, you're still going back to, to Montreal, I imagine? Yes, exactly. Yeah. What I mean by back and forth is, you know, going back home, Montreal, you know, with the, um, it's just I'm not allowed to stay. I can only stay X amount of time, you know. But right now I'm trying to see if I can get my my, my uh, residency card so I can live here permanently and permit and also you know live here. Okay, well, that's great, man. Um, and so how long have has this camp been at Fight Ready? How long have you been there? I've been training since June. Oh, cool. Okay, so plenty of notice, which is uh, which is great. Um. I know it was, it was a while ago, but uh, that fight with Nas, right? I know that was kind of personal, uh, you two getting that fight. It finally happened. Um, I know you didn't get the result you wanted. What did you take away the most from that performance that you're bringing into this fight? Yeah, he actually, um, you know, uh, I practiced. I did not practice what I preached, you know. Uh, I, uh, I was emotional, and he wasn't. And it was hard, you know. Like, I, I went back to Montreal. I even <clears throat> sent a message out to Frez. I go, Frez, just watch seeing Frez Zahabi in his corner really mentally kind of like blocked. It's like seeing my brother at another guy's corner. It was really strange to me. I wasn't just mentally, I wasn't on, you know. I mean, anyone that knows me, it, I mean, fighting is fighting. That, that's why I respect the world champions because some days you wake up, you don't want to fight, and some days things don't happen mentally, psychologically. You know, you look at Sean O'Malley's fight, you know, <clears throat> some days you don't. The switch doesn't go on. It's uh, that's why fighting is very unpredictable. You know, anything can happen. There's so many things. You know, outside of fighting, just not just inside. But I learned a lot fighting Nazareth. He was very composed and he actually played a good game. You know, the point system. You know, and uh, I, I was try. I was, I was hoping he would stay in the pocket with me and exchange more. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's it's tough when, uh, you know, fighters kind of playing their own game. You can't really get yours off, but but it's all good. Looking forward ahead. I mentioned it there, Jamie Malarkey. I know, uh, you know, it's, it's tough to fight someone kind of in their backyard, but uh, you got to be excited about the style matchup. This looks like a fight of the night for sure on the card. I'm hoping to go out, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm going guns blazing. I'm, this is a, a fan favorite fight, in my opinion. But again, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. Is is uh, training with Ross Pearson. I've, I fought Ross Pearson. So I, it's interesting mentally what he's, you know, what Ross is telling him in his head since he fought me. But I'm a complete 
I'm a completely different fighter since, you know, that was a few years back. Um, I'm hoping it'll be fighter the night. You know, I'm going in there for a knockout. You know, it's a kill or be killed mentality. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. And uh, we talked about the camp there at Fight Ready. Who have been some of your main training partners who help? Who's is uh, helping you get ready for this fight? Yeah, Fight Ready is uh, it's, it's a bunch of cool guys. Um, you know, besides the coaches itself, the, the coaching staff is something unique. Uh, every, you know, uh, you have Eddie Santino. There's different uh, Henry's brother, wrestling coach. Henry Suhuru, I, I had the privilege to kind of work with him, pick his brain a little bit. I had the privilege to work with different types of fighters over there, uh, you know, pick their brains and, and see their styles. You know, a lot of, they're, they're very strong in the wrestling and the grappling domain, which, uh, you know, I'm known as a striker, but it's not because I don't, I don't think, it's not because I don't want to take it to the ground. It's just at the end of the day, it's entertainment. And I know that the fans love uh, and a, a stand up uh, battle, you know, so. So there's a bunch of good guys who give me different looks, you know, um, but we'll see, you know, is Jimmy going to come aggressive or is he going to, you know, try to take me down? Because yeah, anything can happen. Some of the names I know that train there that might be kind of in your weight class. I know there's like Bobby Moffat, Hunter Azure, like who are, are there any, any of those guys or any maybe up and comers that you get to work with as well? Yeah, I work with everybody. Like all the guys that you, that, you know, Bobby, uh, Bryce, there's a lot of Dan, there's a lot of guys from Bellator, you know, um, there's also uh, there's a couple of guys I can't really remember their names. No worries. Yeah, I was just curious. Yeah. There's so many, so many guys. You know what I mean? How about the weight cut? I know you always make weight. Uh, you're out in Arizona. It's always I mean it's scorching hot this time of year. I imagine the cut's going well. Yes, weight cutting for me it's uh, the older you get, you have more lean muscle, so it's harder it's harder to lose. But you know I'm when it comes to my endurance, uh, you know I, I'm pushing it very hard. Um, in the past, I was I'm, I'm more known as reserved. Like I start off slow, I, I kind of try to bring it into a, a counter striker pace. But this time, I'm forcing, I'm putting myself. Uh, even the the coaches at Fire Ready, they're forcing me to throw more volume, which is more exhausting. Gotcha. Well, that, that's great, man. And what about uh, you know heading down to Sydney? How early are you going? And who's making the trip with you as far as your corner? Yeah. Well. Eddie Shy, he's already in Singapore. He's he's cornering um, zombie. Korean zombie. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Zombie. He's gonna be in my corner. And Bobby, I'm gonna bring a couple of training partners with me. And uh, I'm gonna also I have a contact in Australia who's gonna at a gym over there. Once I I'm gonna go there uh, ten days, two weeks before. Oh, great! That's excellent. Well, that's good. And uh, how do you see the fight playing out on September 9th? I uh, I know you feel like you're gonna win, but how do you envision the fight playing out? For me, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to go out there, try my, you know, do my best, but I'm I'm going out there for, uh, I'm predicting war. Like, uh, it's it's different. It's, it's even for me, like, it's hard to say. It's, it's a scary feeling because I'm, I'm going there guns blazing in a sense where, um, for me, it's, you know, I want to inspire the, the older guys. You know, I've been through a lot of surgeries, a lot of highs and lows. So it's, for me, it's, it's a challenge uh, to see, you know what my body can, uh, what I can put my body through, and also uh, my mindset for this fight is a little bit different than than my other fights. Um, you know, it's 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 very, uh, it's like I said, it's kill or be killed. You know what I mean? So I'm um, obviously I'm always gonna be calculated. Very, you know, I'm not gonna be a very, I'm very cerebral fighter. I'm, I try not to get hit, but I'm also gonna be very conscious of making it more exciting. I, I went back and looked, John. You've been in the UFC since December of 2010. There aren't many fighters that have been in the UFC as long as you have. Have you been able to kind of look back and, you know, just think of how long you you still stuck around here? I mean, a lot of fighters come and go, but you're you're still, uh, you know, a UFC fighter. I know. I, I sometimes it's uh, it's crazy. I don't I don't um, <clears throat> I don't really sit back and think about it. Every every fight for me in the UFC was always been a, a scary roller coaster ride. Um, you know. I, I dedicated my whole life to this. I sacrificed everything for this. So, and for me to be in the sport for this long, uh, you know, all the all the crazy fights I've been through, it's uh, it's 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 you know something to. Uh, I hope that uh, you know I can inspire the younger youth and I can you know uh, share my knowledge to the younger guys. Yeah, absolutely, man. And how many more fights do you have left on your contract? You know, but well, actually, this is my last fight. Gotcha. Okay. So like you said, kind of going all out, uh, you know, Last both point. in the cage and, and everything else, right? Because you're, you're kind of betting on yourself here, right? Correct. Correct. Yes, this is my last fight. And 
and uh, yeah, it's, you know, fighting is a tough sport. You know, it it uh, you kind of it, it kind of um, you know you don't really, people they don't really see the outside like you know all the outside stuff, but you know you I put this first. You know, what I mean, I always put this first, and you kind of neglect your own happiness and your own personal goals. You know, personal relationships for this sport. You know, because you're focused on you know on that fight night on that you know you want to be the best prepared mentally physically on the fight night so but a lot of other things kind of are pushed aside um it, you know it, it, do you how much longer do you kind of want to see yourself fighting uh you know you're 38 years young john i know you got a lot left to offer but um have you kind of thought about you know if things don't go your way if this is the end of the ufc run do you think you'd still want to compete and, and continue fighting well that's that's the beautiful thing about uh about this fight because it's not just about it's not just another fight for me it's uh number one it's it's proving myself it's to see if i'm able to keep up to the younger guys you know because training to train and train for competition are two different the intensity is a lot different you know i mean uh, also you know with all my injuries uh, how my body reacts to the to to the weight cut how my body reacts to all the all the grinding day in day on practices, um, you know, with the dieting and with going to Australia. So it's something for this is for, this is gonna be a test for me, you know. This is a test, and then fight night after whatever happens happens, and then we'll go from there. And then I'll I'll, I'll reassess my um, you know I, I'll assess my performance and to see how you know if if I would want to continue or not, win or lose. Do you think you'll always be involved in the sport? We see a lot of fighters after they're, you know, done their careers, they, they get into coaching or, or something along those lines. Do you see yourself doing that in the future? Or, or is that something you kind of figure when you're done, maybe I'll just get out of MMA completely? No, I think uh, martial arts has been with me since I was a kid. Like I, I was, you know, so I, I, I believe in my heart that martial arts is always going to be around. It's just opportunities, right? If, if, yeah. if it comes, if it comes, if it uh, if it doesn't come, but no, for sure. Uh, combat sports has always been something that I, that I, I study uh, thoroughly. John, thanks so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. If there's anyone you'd like to thank, any sponsors, any social media you want to mention, I'll give you the last word. Well, first off, uh, I'm actually affiliated with millions.co. Uh, they, they're helping me with my merch. So if you guys want to support my new, my bullwear merch with millions.co. Um, also, you know, I want to thank you for your time. Um, sponsor wise, uh, just right now, Venom. <laughs> Venom is the UFC sponsor, so I want to thank Venom. <laughs>